Hi. It's been a minute. We got hit by a series of disasters that more than a little disrupted my ability to put together these projects and post things for you. A few highlights being our garage being destroyed, everything flooding, our toddler's daycare just suddenly closing forever, and then I just casually got sick for a month and a half. And as noted in the diaper launcher video, we have a new baby in the picture, so stuff's been a little crazy over here. But hopefully I'm now back to posting every week, so for anyone that cares, Yay! And I was still even trying to do some content for you in this time. For one, I just grabbed a whole slew of interesting stuff to burn to just see what would happen. And also, I just felt like burning things. Anyway, let's get to the one everyone's been wanting to see. The banana. But also the termite powder. And it was one of those days where I couldn't even get a completely dry paper towel to burn. So, yeah. Not even this is burning. I can pull it out of the fire and put it back in. But not to worry, I'll just make myself a nice box of feel salad and get back on the horse. Anyway, what we're doing today is building something to help disabled people while they're out and about traveling. At first I was considering a nice wheelchair transfer system, kind of inspired by the J Laser Spider-Man setup, but I don't have those resources or a wheelchair, so what I'm making instead is Fancy Pants Robot Arm. So to make a custom 3D printed robot arm, that takes a lot of 3D modeling, and I happen to really suck at 3D modeling, but thankfully I have a solution, and all it requires is going back in time for a minute. That brings us back to the year, I don't know, whenever this Kickstarter was. This is back before I knew how to do anything with Arduino, and only knew that I wanted to know how to do things with Arduino. So when I saw this Kickstarter for a cheap, Arduino-driven robot arm, I of course backed it. When I got everything set up, it all kinds of didn't work, which I assumed was my fault because I had no idea what I was doing. Fast forward to present day where I do know what I'm doing, it still doesn't work. I'm pretty sure it's the custom PCB board, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to redo the whole thing. So the first thing I did was replace the electronics with an ESP32 and redo the code for basic functionality. Ah! Wow. It can really move. Okay. So I guess this is just kind of doing yoga now. I don't know. After years of accumulating dust, this is finally working and scratching my desk. I should probably take a moment to say that I'm not actually flaming the company with this. With Kickstarter, they could have very easily just not followed through at all. Instead, their 3D models are actually really nice. And of course, while aspects of it are disappointing, I can't really fault them for discontinuing support on a product that's seemingly not making any money. Anyway, that's not what you care about. You want this to turn into this. It just keeps going. I love this thing. This is awesome. Oops. Behold, me for scale. And now it's time for an incredibly important moment of truth. If this thing doesn't fit, the world is ending. So, narrator, the world did not end. Oh wait, I'm the narrator. Anyway, I printed out the upscaled versions, which I of course also adjusted for servo size. Unfortunately, I do still suck at 3D modeling and some of the parts weren't perfect. But since I can't really share remixes of paid models anyway, I didn't feel obligated to perfect and reprint and got to do the modifications the fun way. I modified, tested, and added each part until slowly it started to form something that actually was recognizable as an arm. For the gripper, there's a piece of metal that attaches to the servo to open and close it. Since we upscaled things, I found that a coat hanger not only fits perfectly, but it's bendy enough to get it in place, yet rigid enough to open and close the hand. I thought this would only be a temporary solution until I figured out what to get, but it works a bit too well to ever need replaced. And for anyone doubting the coat hanger robot hand... Aw oh yeah. That is a good moment. A bad moment is learning that pin 35 can't be written to. That was confusing. Anyway, yeah, time to move on. And now, ESP32s are pretty darn easy to use with Wi-Fi, so we kinda have to add controls from our computer. It'd be cool, so we gotta. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> it's completely backward, it's funny. With Wi-Fi enabled controls, this means the robot arm could be used anywhere in the house. Or anywhere with Wi-Fi for that matter. So I wanted to make sure to include the record and playback option. My thinking is this unlocks the ability to have your robot do all kinds of simple tasks that could be pre-programmed. Personally, I might have to get mine to make me coffee someday. I went ahead and modeled an enclosure for the electronics. After some adjustments, it did its job, but that just meant it was time to add more stuff and have to redo it again. All right, let's go ahead and put the lid on, and... 
I didn't screw up the unit of measure, you screwed up the, all right, let's reprint it. Boop, much better. And for our button, we've got this. Well, we had that, this, and our little Arduino button thing, so it's kind of like a spider with a hat. Cute. So everything's working, including some nice to have features, which means we're done, right? <laughs> uh, if I could just complete a project and call it good, I'd be way too well adjusted and content with myself, and we absolutely cannot have that. But actually though, if the point is to extend our reach, we should very literally extend our reach. So it's time to break this in half in a very literal sense. <sighs> it switched colors, how odd. So I redid the model for the upper arm so that I could shove an actuator in one side of it and have it attached to the other. I left a place for a screw hole and presto waluigi kablamo we have an extendable arm. Alright, here's the crash course on how all the controls work and hopefully with no crashing. Joystick. Move arm. Go joystick. Button press. Opens and closes gripper. Yay. If that one's inconvenient because you accidentally are moving this around. This button, also move gripper. Good job, button. Uh, we'll get to the second button in a second. This one, moves actuator. Ooh, extendy. Go get him, tiger. This one moves actuator back. Wow. Retracty. All right. And this one is for the pre-planned movement. So, Say you are disabled. You want to grab something. You press this button, and boy howdy, it's already in position. Then, let's see. Actually, you know what? That's a bit out of my reach. Get this pen. Then, resume the pre-planned movement. Thank you so much. Alright, be gone. Not everywhere is as accommodating as it should be, and sometimes things are out of reach, so we're gonna make sure that's an issue of the past. We gotta make sure they can get their coconut lime. I suppose it's decent, alright. It's so. Anyway, let's grab it with a robot arm. I do believe we're in need of some soap. It's looking pretty good. Uh, let's see. Give that an extendo arm angle. Yeah, yeah. Keep it going, Sky Captain. Keep it going. I do want to briefly note that even though this does work, the idea is more so centered around the code and general setup. One could easily make a stronger arm that's actually attached to a wheelchair for support with a bigger grabber, and with that, have something practical for day-to-day -day use. That all said, this is sweet and I love it. All right. And let's move it on back to moi. Actually, we've got a pre-made setting for this. Thank you so much, robot. Helpful. Cool. That's kind of nice, I like that. And for anyone that's unsure about my level of dedication to these projects, I invite you to fit a chair this size through a doorway. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to use a robot arm in the bathroom. Ugh, that sucked. So now I just kind of have a robot arm, so I'm certain that's gonna appear in more videos, but for now, there's only one thing left to do. And that's just play with it for random tasks. So, uh... I think making puppies happy from across the room with a robot arm is a good way to wrap this one up. Hopefully you enjoyed, and hopefully Skynet isn't traced back to this moment. And... Happy puppies. Alright. Nom 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 nom. If you've made it this far, you probably enjoy this content to some degree and should probably click these buttons down here to, you know, make sure they work and stuff. And also, you may enjoy this video here. It's similar to the one you just watched. Have a good one.